You know, the Chiddush of Deir Ashvi, I think, is that the Rebbe redefined the Chosid Rebbe relationship. From day one, Yod Shvat Tavshin Yod Aleph, the Rebbe said that I'm not going to be a Rebbe the way that you're used to it, where he does all the heavy lifting and you guys just watch and applaud, stand in, in awe. The Rebbe said this is going to be a partnership and you're going to be empowered and you're going to work. And not only are you going to work, but you're going to finish the job, you're going to bring the Shinnah back to this world, you're going to bring Mashiach. That was day one that Rebbe said that. You guys are going to do it. You're going to bring Mashiach. So in other words, from day one, we were empowered, we were uplifted. Now, I don't know if people really, really, really believe the Rebbe. I mean, judging from what happened, Chav Ches Nissen, Chav Shinnah Nalif, people probably didn't believe the Rebbe, because when the Rebbe said, guys, I was serious, you guys have to do this work, everyone pretended that they hadn't heard that for 40 years. For 40 years, the Rebbe was preparing us for our own greatness. The Rebbe was preparing us to step into our role and to be the leader of world Jewry. Jonathan Sachs, all of a sudden, said, good leaders make followers, great leaders make leaders. I would go even further and say that in the past, the Rebbe's made a siddim, the Rebbe made Rebbe's. Shainer Rabbah Toshin and Aleph, the Rebbe said something very strange. The fact that the Friedrich Rebbe made sure that every one of the sons of the Tzemach Tzedek in Hayyem Yem, in the biography, in the beginning of Hayyem Yem, every one of the seven sons of the Tzemach Tzedek should be called Kvet Kedushish Admur, means, what is the implication of that? I would never say this. I would never dare think it. It wouldn't even occur to me. And the Rebbe said it means, what's the practical takeaway? That every single Jew in this generation is an Admur. But they're Kayach when he's Pashtus from Titul Admur. So the Rebbe's going around giving out the title of Rebbe to everyone in the generation. Kol Achav Achas, even the girls. That's, that's a big bombshell. That's a bombshell. The Rebbe's telling us who we are. Wild stuff. And the Rebbe would say, maybe thousands of times, he's making you a shliach, the dollars, every time the Rebbe gives someone a dollar was, was, was shlichus, he's being deputized. He's making you a shliach, and shliach shall adam, can they say the Rebbe that mamash? But do we take that seriously? Say it in English. Say it in English. I am making you me. I am making you me. You are now me. You are me. Wake up. The Rebbe is talking not only to you, he's talking about you. You are me. But it's not so surprising when you realize there's another concept, another Kiddush of the Rebbe. Not only is it that every single Jew in this generation is a Rebbe and a leader of world Jewry, but there's another Kiddush of the Rebbe, and that is that we are all more closely, closely related to Nesidereno than a biological child. We'll talk about this, hey, Tavis. But the Rebbe went on and on making a point that personally, if I had been asked ahead of time whether the Rebbe should say these words, I would advise against it. The Rebbe invoked the words of our sages, Mazari b'chaim afu b'chaim. Just as his children are alive, so is he alive. Do you guys not understand the context of the Sforum trial? You have a biological relative of Beis Harav suing for what he deems to be his legitimate inheritance according to Torah and Lahabu secular law. And the only argument against it is, well, there's this relationship that the Rebbe has with Chassidim. Very nice, the Rebbe has Chassidim. That does not trump the law of biology, Api Torah and Lahabu in secular law. It comes to the Rebbe and says, in this context, with a hot button issue, the elephant in the room is about biology, about being an actual blood relative. And the Rebbe comes in and says, Mazari b'chaim avu b'chaim. Chassidim are here. The Rebbe's alive because his children are alive. And it's not drush. It's not homiletics. It's to the extent that it affects the halacha. And not only halacha, but lahavdil, that umas ha'ilam, seichel anushi, that Judge Sifton should hear this and say, you know what, Takin, according to American law, Chassidim are more related to the Rebbe than a child is related to his biological father. You all learn Perek Beis of Tanya. You know that the etzim, the essence of the father, is in the child. So the Rebbe looks at you and he says, my kin, my son, you are me. You are me. Chassidim always said, as Yad Echos said, this is Shdik Rebbe. But this is much deeper than that. This is not a shtick. This is not a piece of it. This is the whole. This is everything. This is our essence. 